Okay, Aquarius, welcome to your, the fourth week of July weekly love reading. The energy at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands. So I feel like someone made a decision regarding a three-party situation and someone has chosen one person. And I feel like with the um, Queen of Wands of Swords here that answers were demanded. Because the Queen of Swords, she cuts out what is not necessary not necessary in a situation and she gets straight to the point she gets right to the bottom of things and we've got the magician here so she um, is definitely manifesting what it is she wants she's manifesting these answers and I say manifesting because the magician is there moving on from that we have the the five of wands so there's a lot of competition I feel like your partner had many suitors uh, many different partners many lovers and someone ultimately dropped the ball. So clarifying the Five of Wands was the, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So there's an ending to a family relationship. There's a second ending here clarifying that there's definitely an end with the Ten of, of Swords here. So someone is definitely feeling betrayed. Someone's feeling like someone stabbed them in the back. And uh, some of you could be dealing with the Leo. Because um, we've got the strength card here. Some of you could be dealing with the sign of cancer. Some of you could be dealing with the sign of Pisces. I see the high priestess here. And then water signs for some of you. But there are definitely some facades and illusions that went on in this relationship. So when I went to clarify, wow, this is a lot of cards. When I went to clarify the Two of Pentacles, we've got several cards here that wanted to come out. So the Two of Swords came out. Someone ultimately dropped the ball in, in this juggling. Someone was not able to continue with the facade because the truth came out. Because the Queen of Swords came and she cut through all of the mess to get to the bottom of the situation. I feel like someone is was ignoring making a decision or is delaying making a decision. That might be the scenario for some of you. I feel like some of you are being ignored by your partner. They're just not speaking to you. Like there's a cutoff in communication. I feel like your heart is blocked. Like you're protecting your heart. And we've got the fool. So there's a new beginning on the, on the table. Someone's moving forward. Like full speed ahead or moving away. Someone felt like they weren't getting the recognition that they deserved in this relationship because of all of this competition that was going on here. Okay, someone is emotionally off balance. There's some jealousy. Some of you are not feeling, feel, some of you are feeling like you didn't use your intuition in the situation. You feel like you ignored your intuition. There may have been nudges, nudges from your intuition, but they were ultimately ignored. We've got the Page of Swords here, so some information definitely came through. And I feel like some, some of you might be cutting off a fire sign. I feel like there was a lot of um, egotistical behavior involved in the situation. Someone has a big ego. I feel like there was definitely a three-party situation. We had two people walking away in the background. We've got another three here. The overall energy. Three of Wands. So someone has, like, Aquarius, you or your partner has decided to cut out one of the parties from the three-party situation and ultimately made a choice. As you can see here, he's got his hand on one of the wands, so he's made a choice to turn his back on the others and chose one partner. We've got the other ones walking away, feeling defeated, feeling hurt. But we've got a wish coming in, a wish fulfilled. So something's on the way. So we've got that going on there. Okay, we've got the Six of Swords. Um, as clarified also by the Chariot. If some of you aren't dealing with someone with the sign of Cancer, I get that someone's moving away. There's definitely a physical move on the horizon for some of you. 
but um, yeah, because there's a new beginning on the table. Let me go ahead and clarify that um, Ten of Swords is pretty self-explanatory. Someone is feeling betrayed in this situation. So what wanted to come out, what flew out was the King of Cups. This person can be very controlling, manipulative, emotionally unstable, can be verbally abusive, and can be a drunk. Okay? Can be overindulging in alcohol. So this type of energy is what caused you to feel betrayal, betrayed. Someone with this type of energy. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put those back because I'm not sure about those two. Okay. So um, moving forward, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. There were some illusions. There were some illusions. And there were some facades. I feel like some of you, either you or your partner gave the facade that they were, that you were the only one involved. But truthfully, you can see here they have multiple options, multiple suitors. They may have given you the impression that they were being faithful, but they weren't. Someone was wearing a mask. And I feel like some of, some, your, either you or your partner were able to carry this on for quite some time until ultimately someone dropped the ball and cut through the BS to get to the bottom of it. So what wanted to come out for the Seven of Cups for these illusions was the Seven of Swords. I think we have this right next to it. So this is clarifying. We've got three that repeats. Someone is definitely moving. Someone is definitely leaving the scenario. Someone is tired of the BS. So, Queen of Swords, this might be you, Aquarius, in the situation. You came in and you cut out this person. And you decided that you're ready to move on. We've got the King of Cups in the upright this time. So this is someone that's emotionally stable. I feel like this is you saving face. This is you on the surface saying that you're not affected by this. You don't want to show your true emotions to your partner about how hard, how, um, yeah, how hard this hit you and how heavy the impact of this information was. I feel like some of you are feeling depressed because we got the sun card in reverse. I feel like this person was offering a lot of passion. Okay, as indicated by these wands here. The situation is calling for balance though which someone is not doing. Someone's off balance. Situation is calling for balance. So clarifying the King of Cups is the High Priestess. The High Priestess is very intuitive. Now we've got the High Priestess directly below in, that, in the position here where I just clarified. So I feel like some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. I feel like this person, this um, King of Cups, could have two different personalities because we've got the pillars here. There are two different colors. Two different. I feel like you could have two different minds about them. And there's definitely a water sign involved for both for some of you because we've got the King of Cups here again and we've got the High Priestess. We've got the sign of cancer here. So yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with a water sign. So the chariot is moving forward full speed ahead. Someone is really done and they are moving out of the situation, Aquarius. Yeah, 
they are leaving this union. They're done. And someone's not feeling so optimistic because the sun card is in reverse. So clarifying, the sun card is the, the six of pentacles. So some of you are feeling insecure. Some of you are healing from these feelings of loss. So in the upright, this is someone crying over spilled milk. And I feel like this is the three-party situation that was going on. But someone's not looking back to see that there's two here. So I feel like someone is leaving behind these three, this multiple party, to choose one. To choose to be a part of another union. I feel like someone is um, no longer juggling. This was in the reverse. So I feel like someone's healing from these feelings of loss. These feelings of feeling like you're stabbed in the back. Because both of these are in the reverse. So there's some healing. Emotional healing going on. So I feel like this balance is coming in order for some of you. Yeah, you're crying over this loss of feeling like you actually had to compete with your own mate. You got the high priestess here uh, once again. So this is really clarifying to me that there might be a Pisces for some of you. But um, I feel like some of you were highly intuitive about this, Aquarius. You were very um, intuitive about what was going on, so you demanded your answers. Like you just knew, you picked up on it. Okay, so the High Priestess is there, and clarifying her is the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So you, you're into, you into it. Your intuition told you that there was more than meets the eye. Your intuition picked up on the fact that yeah, your partner was juggling and had multiple lovers that they were not being faithful. You knew it, and you demanded your answers. We got the Three of Pentacles. We've got threes here. The threes, it represent a three-party situation. It is in the reverse. We got the two of pentacles, which represents someone juggling and, and ultimately dropping the ball. And then the five of wands, someone juggling more than, than one partner. So, yeah, your intuition told you that, yeah, that I, I really suspect that there's a three-party situation going on. This caused you to be oh, feel overburdened emotionally. And there's a ten here again. So there's decided to end it with this person. Queen of Pentacles. For, so for some of you, this could be, um, you could be dealing with a, an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Situation is calling for acceptance. Not acceptance as in um, condoning what happened, but acceptance as in um, accepting what happened and being able to move on. And it does look like this is what, what you, you, you're healing from it. So it shows that there is acceptance. 